What is something that you read in the Bible that shut you up real quick? One day, when I was reading through my Bible, and it was very rare in those days, uh, I came across Matthew chapter 7, verses 21 through 23, where it says, where Jesus says, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but those who do the will of my Father. Key words there, those who do the will of my Father. So we're going to break these verses down. Starting in verse 21, the Bible reads, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father, which is in heaven. So what is the will of the Father? Well, let's take a look at John chapter 6 in verse 40, where Jesus says, And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son, and believeth on him, may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. So according to this verse, the will of the Father is that you believe in the Son. A synonym for believing is trusting. So when you say that you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, what you're actually saying is that you're only trusting in him to get you into heaven. Not in your good works, not in your good deeds, not in any other gods, but you're only trusting on Him alone for salvation. So the real question is, what are these professing Christians trusting in to get them into heaven in verse 22? Well, if we read verse 22, Jesus says, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name have cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? Are you starting to notice how blatantly obvious it is that these professing Christians are actually trusting in their works and not in Christ alone? Because I mean, what are they saying? They're saying, did we not preach in your name, Jesus, and cast out devils and done all these wonderful works in your name? So they're boasting about all the good works that they did in his name, which is why Jesus says in verse 23, I never knew you, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. The reason why Jesus says, I never knew you, is because these professing Christians were never saved to begin with. Because salvation is not of works, lest any man should boast. It's by faith alone, in Christ alone, plus and minus nothing. So to all these so-called Christians who keep twisting this verse to teach that a Christian can lose their salvation, you need to understand that this scripture is being addressed to apostate Christians who were never saved to begin with. Because remember, Jesus never said, I used to know you. Because that would insinuate that Christians could lose their salvation. But no, he said, I never knew you because these people were never saved to begin with. And that's because they trusted in their works. And sadly, Jesus says many will say these things to him on judgment day. And that's because the majority of Christianity is trusting in their works and not in Christ alone to go to heaven. 